Hello and welcome to Electro Study. In this session, I'll be teaching you how to use semi-low graph in order to plot the frequency response of low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter, and also the frequency response of common emitter amplifier, BJT common emitter amplifier. Uh, such kind of experiments definitely you need to you need to have semi-low graph. So what is semi-low graph first? Uh, the graph which will be in terms of logarithmic scale and also uh, one axis is linear with uh, another axis. So that is a speciality of semi-low graph. So I'll be showing you one typical example so that based on the example, you can easily plot the semi-low graph. The given data, frequency you can see in the first column, the gain, which is converted in decibel, which is given in terms of decibel that is available in the another column. So frequency with the gain, okay. So frequency you have to plot in X axis and the gain should be plotted in Y axis. For your betterment, I have taken one uh, screenshot of the semi -low graph. So you can observe the semi -low graph in this fashion. The given data is also available here for your information. Now what you can do is, you have to decide the scale first. Uh, the X axis, let us consider X axis. X axis we consider frequency. Okay, frequency, I just marked at the x-axis, then gain, gain, I have marked in y-axis. First, let us mark the gain in decibel. So, let us start from uh, the reading, you can see, gain. So, which is the highest value? Highest value is uh, 13. No? Now, let me start with uh, 15. Okay, 15, uh, 10. Uh, then 5, this must be 0, negative 5, negative 10, negative 50. So like that you can decide. I think it's clear to everyone. Uh, similarly, regarding the frequency, uh, say let, let us start the frequency uh, with the range of, you can see uh, decide the range. So starting from 100, right? This is 100. This will be 200, 300, 400, etc. up to uh, 1 kilohertz. This will be 1 kilohertz. Then 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K, etc, etc. This become a 10K, right? Uh, then 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K up to how much? This will be 100K. Then 200K, 300K, 400K. Like that it goes up. Now what you can do is take the reading. Everybody please observe the reading. Okay. So reading is available given for your betterment. Please read this ones. Okay. Okay, first of all, uh, let us go for the 100 hertz. See the 100 hertz. At 100 hertz, what is the value of gain is 30. Okay, at 100. This is your 100, right? At 100, the gain will be 30. So 13, uh, let me mark the 30. This should be 13, right? Yes, I have marked 30. Now moving on to the second one, 600 hertz, 600. Please identify 600 hertz. Obviously, this is your 600. At 600 hertz, what is the value of gain? Again, 13. Correct, no? 13 is nothing but uh, the, here this point, right? Yeah. So moving on to uh, uh, 1000 hertz. 1000 hertz means 1 kilohertz, right? Again, I can see the reading as same. There is no change. Uh, that will be 30. So three uh, readings I have plotted. Now moving on to 2.5 kilohertz. 2.5 kilohertz. 2. 2.5 will be approximately here itself. Okay. At 2.5 kilohertz, what is the reading? 12.5. Uh, 12.5. 12 so please identify 12.5. Okay. 12.5, I will I'll be identifying. 12.5. So uh, this is uh, 14, then 13. This will be 12.5. Clear, no? So I'll be marking 12.5. Similarly, uh, 2.6 kilohertz. 2.6 means uh, that is also nearby. 2.5 is uh, here, then 2.6 will be here. That is also almost uh, uh, 12 only, 12. 12, that is almost 12. So I'll be marking 12. Okay. Similarly, 2.8, uh, 2.8 will be also at 12 only. So I'll be marking another point, right? Then 4 kilohertz. 4 kilohertz is nothing but here itself, 4. 4 is here only, right? At 4 kilohertz, what is the value? 7. Gain will be 7. 7. This is 10. Then 9, 8, 7. 
this must be 7. I think it's clear to order. This is completed. Then 10 kilohertz, 10k. 10k, what is the value? 3. So please mark 3, corresponding 10k. 10k, uh, I need to mark 3. This is uh, 4. And this must be 3. I think it's clear to order. Yeah. Like that, you have to mark this. Thing. Then 30 kilohertz. 30. Where is 30 kilohertz? Yeah. This is your 30. 30 kilohertz, the value will be uh, negative 8, minus 8. Minus 8, you please identify. So, uh, this is uh, minus 10. Uh, then 9. This will be almost, yes. Similarly, 100 kilohertz. Where is 100 kilohertz? Yeah, this is your 100 kilohertz. You will be getting uh, minus 12. Minus 12. 15 is here. Then 14. And then just 12. I think you got the graph. So please join this. So you can join slowly. Using the pencil, you can uh, draw it neatly. So I need to get a continuous graph. Right? So like this. You can easily plot. Yes. One of the response curve I got. Now what you can do is. Uh, this is your uh, frequency response curve. Now to identify the cut of frequency. What you can do is. Take uh, minus 3 decibel. Because gain is expressed in terms of decibel. No? decibel. So minus 3 dB you have to take. Okay. Let us take uh, minus 3 dB. Okay. So uh, read the scale properly. Let us take the minus 3 dB down, uh, 1 dB, 2 dB, 3 dB, correct now? I think you understood. So, I will be taking minus 3 dB down, minus 3 decibel. So, let me elaborate this. Use the dotted line. You can make a dotted line. Just elaborate it. Yes. At this point, look at this. At this point, what is going to happen? So, we can get the value of cutoff frequency. It's around 3, correct now? Around 3 kilohertz. 3 kilohertz is considered as the cutoff frequency. So, I could find out the cutoff frequency after taking uh, minus 3 dB towards down. Alright. So, uh, this is the way how to plot the semi-logram. So, in the coming video, if you require, I will add few more examples. I hope you understood how to plot the semi-logram. It can be used for all the type of analog electronics lab, even power electronics lab, control system lab. If you want to plot uh, the uh, frequency response, body plot, root locus, all those things, you can body plot, especially body plot, not root locus. Body plot, if you want, you can uh, use the this particular um, graph very easily and you can identify. Okay, you can identify the gain margin, phase margin, everything in the control system. So, uh, these are the fundamental. Please go through that. Let me know if you are having any queries. Uh, we are happy to answer that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.